your two hands to heaven. I appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. Are you, are you, are you grateful to Him for counting you among the living this morning? Many could not see the end of us. Have. You saw January, you saw February, you saw March, April, May, you saw June, and here you are, the seventh month. See what the Lord has done. Ye Brahma Sun Chali Baba. See what the Lord has done. That you are standing here this morning is what God has done. What we pray for has come to pass. I say, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. See what the Lord has done. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. can you just lift up your voice and just appreciate God in your own way I want you to thank God from the bottom of your heart I want you to look back and see how you started the year see God's faithfulness see God's loving kindness see God's caring see God's support see God's help see God's mercy see God's victory in all the battles of your life can you just open your mouth and just appreciate it just magnify the Lord. Just give Him praise this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. I thought somebody would say a louder amen. I want you to lift up your two hands as you take just one prayer point. Sorry, we don't have time. I would love us to pray so hard this morning, but thank God. We are starting fasting and prayer tomorrow, uh, seven, uh, 14 days of my second half will be better than my first half. And so I want to encourage you, even though we don't have time to pray this morning, make yourself available. Whatever you become is going to be product of prayers. Whatever, whatever you are today is as a result of the prayer you prayed yesterday. And whatever you be tomorrow will be as a result of the prayer you are praying today. And that's why I'm encouraging you to pray with all your heart. Lift up your two heads to heaven and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, whatever that they might be missing in my life, I know I am complete in you. In this seventh month, Allah sees them all. Can you go ahead and talk to the mighty God? I don't know that thing that is missing. But the Bible says we are completing him. Hey, Kalipo Tabas and Chalia. Robo Te Kazinda Lika Kabayadale. Whatever that is missing in your life, <laughs> let go of it this month. <laughs> Whatever that is lost in your life, <laughs> let go restore this month. <laughs> Open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God. <laughs> we are completing Him, <laughs> the one that is the head of all principalities. Potemba Likaka, Progonobos Gete Bragazan Talimama. 
thank you mighty father in Jesus most wonderful name we have prayed I set myself in pastoral agreement with you this morning and wherever my father will hear a louder amen because the word of God cannot be broken because God is not a man that he should lie for it is written yea and complete in him therefore whatever that might be missing in your life physically, spiritually, financially materially, may the Lord fix it this month in the name of Jesus I say may the almighty God fix it this month in the name of Jesus whatever you have Lord that's supposed to be part of you in this seventh month of perfection let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Hey, whatever that is in you that ought not to be in you, I decree this day the Lord will approve the other about Jesus. Your testimony this morning shall be you are complete in Him. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let me speak to us expressly this morning. Heal the broken hearted. Touch everyone, Amen. and at the end, may we be glad that we came Amen. in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Put those hands together for Jesus and make a joyful name of the Lord. I say, make a joyful name of the Lord, and let me be seated as king and queens in his presence. Beloved, we are taking a journey this month, and I want to encourage you since. Uh, We've been here. I don't think we've taken this team before. And the truth is that when the Lord laid this team in my heart, I don't even remember that our Father and the Lord said that July Holy Ghost service is going to be uh, complete in Jesus. It was later I remembered. And I knew that there's a reason why God is giving us this team. And I clearly consider the kind of revelation God has been sharing with us on this team. I know there is somebody here everywhere the enemy are waiting to put you to shame that missing thing the Lord will fix it and good enough our father and the Lord have declared 10 days fasting but for those of us here we are doing 14 days because that has always been our pattern every media we also seek the face of God just like we seek the face of God at the beginning and our cry will be let my second half be better than my first half. Who is that, sir? You want your second half to be better than your first half? Child, hallelujah. It's not going to happen by accident. Neither is it going to happen by coincidence. If you desire it, you must pay the price. And that's why I beg of you, say bye-bye to food for these 14 days and sort out your destiny. And as a church, we'll be meeting every morning and evening all throughout this period. And my assurance and confidence is that by 31st of December, even the fellow sitting beside you will have congratulated you seven times. Tell your neighbor, did you hear? 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 They will congratulate you. I will believe that shout hallelujah. And so we are starting tomorrow morning which I encourage you to be in attendance with the topic incomplete without power part one what do I call it? incomplete without power then you understand why he said don't go anywhere wait in Jerusalem because they are incomplete without power you are incomplete my prayer is that the power you need to be complete God will release to you so very briefly because of time my time is fast spent. I don't know. I just, just want to look at the topic. Complete in him. Complete in who? Complete in who? Complete in him. And our test is taken from Colossians chapter 2. I read from verse 6 to 11. It says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as they have been taught abandoning daring with thanksgiving. Take note of that. Say, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit 
after the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. And verse 11 says, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without head, in putting out the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Praise the Lord. What does the word complete imply? Or what is the meaning of the word complete? To be complete can be having all your inadequacies taken care of. Having all your what? Inadequacies taken care of. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that's above every other name, whatever inadequacy that is in your life, eh, the Lord will take care of them this month. In the name of Jesus. To be complete implied, number two, there is nothing lost. There is no what? Nothing lost. And paraventure, something has been lost. The implication is that 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 has been lost shall be restored. In this seven months, I stand here at the servant of the Most High God and I decree because you are completing Him, this month you will experience restoration. You will experience sevenfold restoration. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, they will return back to you sevenfold. Physically, they will return sevenfold. Financially, they will return sevenfold. You are that fellow stand on your feet and say louder, Amen. To be complete in me means there is no damage. There is no what? Damage. When the implication is that paraventure there is damage, it can be repaired. It can be what? Can I pray for only one person? Whatever need to be repaired in your life this month, whatever that need to be repaired in your marriage, in your home, in your business, in your career, ah, because you are completing Him, God will carry out that repair. I said the Lord will carry out that repair. I said the Lord will carry out that repair in the name of Jesus. Beloved, to be complete in Him imply everything necessary is in place. Oh my God. What did I say? Everything necessary is where? It's in place. Can I ask you, sir? What do you desire to be in place that is not yet in place? Maybe you need a car. Maybe you need a house. You need something to be in place. Something necessary in your life. Do I have anybody that have a necessity? Stand on your feet. You have a necessity. You desire something to be in place, but not yet in place. Because you are completing him, that thing that is necessary, that ought to be in place, the Lord will put them in place. So I will not be surprised to be dedicating several cars this month. I will not be surprised to be dedicating houses this month. I will not be surprised to be carrying out house for me this month. Because whatever that is necessary in your life shall be in place. Lift up your voice and say, Father, whatever that is necessary in my life, because I am complete in you, please put them in place. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Let God put them in place. <laughs> whatever that is necessary, my supanda la boscata, jegede, gazuta, la braca, santa, lima, ke kama santa, bradoko, santa, lia, ke ke, gazuta, lia, ka kalaba, ka santa. I see God putting this in place in your life. I see the Almighty God putting this in place. <laughs> ke ke te le boscata. Thank you, my dear Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated in this process. What does it mean when you say completely him? It means having the total package in Christ. Having what? That will not permit me to go into what the total package in Christ is. But before the end of the month, we'll get there. There is something that is called the total package. The what? But 
broadly speaking, when you talk about the total package in Christ, the total package in Christ affects your spirit, your soul, and your body. And that's why God is interested in your spirit man. He's interested in your soul, your emotion. That's why if you are here, you are going through trauma. Listen to me, sir. The Lord will fix it. Oh my God. I said the Lord will fix it. He's interested in what happens to your body. He's interested in what happens to your body. That's why I can tell you categorically. Affliction shall be gone. Sickness shall be gone. Diseases shall be gone. Infection shall be gone. In the name of Jesus. So to be complete in him is to enjoy the total package in Christ. Brethren, do you know, even in the Old Testament, there were those that were incomplete that were made complete in him. If you don't believe me, read the book of 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to read verse 1 and then read verse 14 to 15. You know the story of Naaman? Naaman's story is an example of many of us. Because when you, when you read that verse 1 of that second king, he gave a description of Naaman. He said, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, a great man with his master, honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. But something was missing. Hello? But he was incomplete. For the Bible says, but he was what? A leper. Hello? But when he met the almighty God, the God of Israel, he became complete in him. And he made up his mind. He said, with this that I have experienced, I will serve the God of Israel. He said, can I have the earth of the land? Let me take it to my, to my city. And he now begged the man of God. He said, you are going to pray to God to have mercy on me. He said, I may be following my master, the king, to go and worship Ramon. He said, but I don't mean it. Even when I bow before him, it is not my heart. Hello? Another typical example because of time. It is not my tumor. She felt she had everything. When the servant of God called her, what can we do for you? She said, no. You want to mention me to the king? No. I'm well recognized. I'm well connected. Money? No. You can see I build you a house. I don't have anything. Hello. But you know, he knows what you don't know. What is missing in your life that you don't even know is missing? He knows it. And suddenly, Gehazi was used as an agent. Who spoke on her behalf? She is barren. She has no child. She is incomplete. She still needed something else. And that faithful day, the one that we are complete in him, made her complete. Can I pray for you, sir? Whatever God needs to do in your life, for you to be complete in him, spiritually, physically, financially, materially, God will do it this month. In the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Beloved, to be complete in him is irrespective of race. Whether white or black, it does not matter. It is, it is irrespective of ethnic or tribal sentiments. Whether you are Yoruba, you are Igbo, you are Hausa, you are whatever, you are Kanuri, you are Nupe, it does not matter. Whether you are Bibio, you are ethnic, it does not matter. It does not matter gender, whether you are male or female. When you are in him, he makes you complete. That's why in Galatians chapter 3 verse 28, he said there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither born of nor free. There is neither male or female. For ye are one in Christ Jesus. I pray for you, sir. You will receive a visitation. I say you receive a visitation. I say you receive a visitation. I say you receive a visitation. When the Bible says they are complete in him, Paul had a better explanation of this in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5 to 7. He said, For though there be that are called gods, 
whether in heaven or in earth, as dear because many and lost many say, but to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, the Father of whom that are what, and we in Him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all things are we by Him. How be there is not in every man that knowledge that knowledge for some with conscience of the idol unto this hour it as a thing offer unto an idol and their conscience being weak is defied. What am I saying here? Paul is saying there are some people because of the cause they worship they find it difficult to believe that it is possible to be complete in another God. He said, but our own God is the heavenly God and in him all things exist. Including your life. Including everything that has to do with you. And that's why I'm praying for you today that in that name that is above every other name you will receive a visitation. Beloved, in him you have total forgiveness. Man cannot give you total forgiveness. If man tells you that he has forgiven you, be very careful. He may still be on revenge mission. Two of us. Two of us. He may still be looking for me to take vengeance. When the opportunity comes, he may strike. But in Christ. Let's just say in Christ. I said, let's just say in Christ. You have total forgiveness. Total. When he forgives you, he forgives you. And that's why we encourage you this morning. If you are not yet in him, please, sir, please, man, come and taste of his goodness. And come and be complete in him. And your life will not remain the same. I say your life will not remain the same. That's why Romans chapter 5 verse 11 says, And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. By whom we have now received what? The atonement. It is only in him you have what? Total. When he forgives you, he forgives you. When he forgives you, he wipes away your past and gives you a new beginning. There is somebody here this morning, the Lord will give you a new beginning. If you are saying him, I say loud and clear. When you are saying complete in him, it's only in him you have fullness of joy. Only in him you are what? Fullness of joy. Man can only give you happiness. Man can only give you what? But God will give you what? Fullness of joy. In him you have fullness of joy. Can I pray for only one person? This month, God will make your joy full. He said the Lord will make your joy full. If you are saying him and say loud and clear. I said the same name and say loud and clear. Sir, man. Yeah, I complete in him because in him you have total freedom. We'll be talking more about that at the Holy Communion. I encourage you not to miss it. In him there is no bondage. There is no what? That's why every power that wants to hold you captive, they will bow before him. Because he's the head of all principality. And any child of God that is the least in the kingdom, the lowest he can go is the feet of Christ. Is where? The feet of Christ. And when the Bible says principalities and power are under his foot, so what happened to principalities and power with you? They are under your foot. And that's why I pray for you. Any will never have dominion over your life. Let me jump very quickly because of time. If we are completing him, how do you appropriate it to your life? How do you appropriate it to your life? I just give you four points and we rise up to pray. Number one, it requires faith. When you say you are complete in him, it requires what? Faith. That's why the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 6 says, For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but, but faith which worketh by love. Faith which worketh by love. If you want to appropriate this scripture into your life, it is by faith. You will look at your life and you tell yourself, I am completing him. It doesn't matter the physical thing you may be seeing, but you are convinced that you are completing him. And I'm praying for you. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number two, you walk in him. You have faith in him. Then you walk in him. 
if you are to be complete in him, you must walk in him. According to Galatians chapter 2, sorry, according to Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, say, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. So do what? Walk ye in him. Sir, on a daily basis, you must walk in Jesus. If you cannot walk in him, you cannot be complete in him. And then number three, abandon in thanksgiving. Abandon in where? In thanksgiving. Thank God today is thanksgiving. That's why if you read the second part of that Colossians chapter 6, uh, so Colossians chapter 2, if you read verse 7, it says, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as they have been taught, abandon there in with what? Thanksgiving. And let me give you an example. In first chapter 3, verse 7 to 14, I said something earlier when we were doing the last Thanksgiving. And I said for some of all that did not come, you may not understand. Maybe after now you will repent. Sir, ma, it was Thanksgiving that made Solomon complete. Hello? It was what? That made who? How? As I close. Solomon just felt he had been made king. But he discovered that he had no adequate wisdom. Hello? He knows he's helpless. He know he had a lot of church comings. So he went to God to do thanksgiving. Just as you have come today. Hello? And he did the thanksgiving and he pleased God. Can I beg you, sir? Can I beg you, man? Let your thanksgiving please God today. Whatever you want to give to God, let it please God. Don't give your thanksgiving anyhow. Because his thanksgiving please God, and because when you are born in thanksgiving, you are completing him, God paid him a visit. And when the Lord paid him a visit, he asked him, What do you want? Solomon only asked for wisdom and understanding. But because God wants him to be complete, because when you are born in thanksgiving, you must be complete. God said, Even the thing you did not ask for, you didn't hear me, sir. Even what? Including what? Riches and wealth. Oh, it was a total package that God did and delivered to Solomon. There is somebody here today. You are going home with total package. On the account of this Thanksgiving, you are going home with total package. You are that fellow. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. And begin to thank the Almighty God. Begin to give him praise. 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 Solomon abound in thanksgiving. And he was made complete in him. So that even the thing he did not ask, the Lord gave to him. Can you go ahead and talk to him? Can you give him thanksgiving? Can you give him thanksgiving? In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Beloved, open your eyes and look at me. You can only be complete in Him if also you are a new creature. Read Galatians chapter 6, verse 40 to 17. If you are not a new creature, and who is a new creature? Somebody that has said bye bye to the world. It doesn't matter whether you have been coming to church. If you are coming to church and there is no difference between who you used to be and who you are now, sir, come to him now. And I can assure you, whatever that ought to be added to you to be complete, he will do it. Whatever that needs to be put in place, he will put it in place. Whatever that you have lost that needs to be restored, he will restore. All eyes closed. If you are that one, can you lift up your right hand? And I pray with you. You want to be a new creature? God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Usher, help me. Those that are outside, any of us that want to come to Him, can you lift up your right hand? And as you lift up your right hand, can you come to the altar? Usher, please direct them to the altar. Direct them to the altar. Anyone outside, children, church, in church, because of time. Is anyone like that? Is anyone like that? Very quickly. Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. I'll just count one to three. After the count of three, I'll pray. One. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Any other person? Two. I'm rushing because of time. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, any other person? Any other person? If you are coming, please come, please come, please come, please come, please come. 
Please come. There's always a day. Only him you can be made complete. Only in him. Only in him. Ah, my, my daughter. daughter. God bless you. Ah, ah, that's wonderful. If children can come to Jesus, then you know that until you become a child, you cannot see the kingdom. Yes, any other person before I pray? Another person? Is anyone coming from outside? Precious Father, I don't want to thank you for the life of your children standing at your altar. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And whatever, oh God, that need to be restored, that need to be put in place in their life, because in you we are complete, that they do it today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I thought the Lord God say louder, amen. Kindly follow that, my sister, one minute. Let's put our hand together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I will be praying for you immediately after the Thanksgiving. We will just do the Thanksgiving for about five minutes because of time. Because by quarter past, we must join our Father in the Lord. I know we're in a jet speed. Let's stretch out our hand to just one word to our Father in the Lord. The Almighty God will make you complete in Him in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When it's time to give our Thanksgiving, and I want us for those for the benefit of those of you watching with us for the first time, whatever you can quickly write down, whatever you desire from God in the course of this month, quickly write it down because you are going to dance with it with your thanksgiving offering and give put it on the altar of God this morning. And I'm trusting God as you do that, everything that you have written down, God will answer them on Jesus' name. So very helpful of you have already aware of what if you have a please let's rise as a choir leader, choir please. Hallelujah. Let's please rise this morning quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's rise. Amen. Choir. Open me, where more lying. Lord, open me, where more lying. Oh, call me, call You are good and your mercy is forever. You put your hands together for the Lord with a best suffering. Oh, yeah, aha, uh -huh. come on to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. Shout hallelujah to the Lord, 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 Is somebody dancing? Come on. Aha. Hey, hey, me, your ma. 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 Hey,
Amen. Shall we pray? Precious Father, we want to thank you, O oh God, even for our thanksgiving. Lord, please accept in the name of Jesus. Lord, for every prayer request, let them become testimony. And I commit you into the hands of the Almighty God that God Almighty will visit you specially this month. Visit your family, visit your business, visit your career in the name of Jesus. And whatever you desire God to do for you this month, God will perfect it in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. We can please be seated. Let us not forget all our weekly activities remain the same. And uh, like we have announced, the 14 days fasting and prayer continue tomorrow. Good morning, Holy Spirit, continue tomorrow. And there will be Holy Communion this evening by 5 p.m. Shall we rise as we take the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the same of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, now goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall die.